Living in pain, plagued by sickness, haunted by your own looming mortality? Not anymore. Now there's Icaret, a technological miracle that lets us transfer consciousness from one body to another. That's right, humanity's wildest dream has been fulfilled. The dream of immortality. Now, when sickness or old age starts dragging you down, you can bid on a brand new body at your local government auction house. Give yourself and your loved ones a new lease on life. And don't forget, the body subscription service is mandatory for all citizens 21 and older. So protect your investment. Always avoid illicit substances. Never skip any mandated shell inspections. And prioritize your well-being, physical, psychological, and especially financial. Any lapse subscription payments will result in your body being submitted to a bailiff auction. And remember, any and all violations will be prosecuted by the Department of Mortality. Don't you already know who the murderer is? That's not the point. And at least tell me what's going on. Just watch, okay? This is the best part, where he's questioning the suspect. And when are you gonna question me? You want me to question you? Don't you want to? <laughs> Should I handcuff you? We always uh, handcuff suspects. I think you'd better. Sounds dangerous. I'm always dangerous. Too bad you didn't warn me before we got married. Would that have changed your mind? James, would you love me if I had an ugly shell? Or a shell like that one? Would I love you if you had a guy's shell? That's your question? Or... Or if I didn't have a shell at all? Prohibition violation at intersection of... Breaking news. The president today signed into law a controversial bill reducing the age limit for free body subscriptions, despite earlier promises to the contrary. Fucking politics. Ready to get back in the saddle, Chief. I uh, sent you the papers. Oh, I know. I'm looking at them. Did you hear this? Fuck! What are you... Don't tear them up! Fuck! Fuck. The accident was barely two weeks ago. Look, the committee already thought you were a hot mess. Trying to come back this soon? That's just got him convinced. 
You're no fucking medical miracle, James. Chief, we've been busting our humps in the same department for half a century. You know I know this fucking job like nobody else. And you know I've got your back, too. Come on, Chief. You gotta let me come back. My hands are tied. Officially. Yeah? So unofficially, I'm all ears. Political case. Discreet. I'm listening. You'd be doing a favor for a guy whose signature trumps every tested commission out there. Why do I feel like there's a butt coming? Because you're fucking difficult. Also, without your sync tests, can't get you back in the system. So I'm gonna put you with a liaison officer. She'll be the one with full access. A babysitter? Fucking hell. You asked for it, Sunshine. Wait, I'll put her on. said what I said. You're a goddamn departmental legend. Legend? Uh, well, okay. More like cautionary tale. Especially after you fucked up half the city with that train. I don't remember much about the accident. Tell me, it was kind of a spectacle. You don't remember? So, what, you haven't synchronized yet? Chief Steiner trusts me. That ought to be good enough for you too. Yeah, well, so did your partner, right? Uh, the one who ended up having to get their eco right reconstructed? Okay, I'm back. You two are best friends now, right? Sorry, boss. Sarah, I've sent you all the authorizations. Forward the package to Karen. Look, you don't have to trust each other. Just report everything. Got it? Steiner out. All right, let's get the show on the road. I need the address of the nearest post office. Fine. Did you know there used to be rooftop bars in the city? Yeah. So they figured out open spaces make desynchronization symptoms worse. Oh, shit. You don't buy into that nonsense, do you? Tell me something, James. Do you know the feeling, after you've spent time in a wide open space, when you go back to your capsule apartment on the ground floor? Uh, I don't live in a capsule apartment. No, you fucking don't. So maybe stop talking out of your ass. Warn you, though. I am not saving anybody from Denver. I got principles. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about how they make such awful food. Anybody who works there deserves whatever happens to them. James, the post office? Looks like TS-45-7. You're in Times Square? I have business here. Half the city's had business there lately, thanks to that new brothel. I am not in a brothel. <laughs> sure, but I totally believe you. Okay, Playboy, go for the package. Platform 53D, Terminal 3. <clears throat>
Hey, people love me. That's just how it is. I just, I want you to understand, I'm in the home stretch for a fat promotion. I've been working my ass off, so I can't afford any mistakes right now. And, you know, you're sort of notorious for unconventional methods. Me? Oh, come on. Everybody knows you don't give two greasy rat shits about regulations. The only thing I ask is that we act professionally, okay? I'm willing to give it a shot. No promises. Great. Better than nothing, I guess. That's the spirit. Seven seven one one two P. Police shipment. Additional verification required. Enter badge number. Nine eight four. No authorization. Shit, Sarah. I need access. Oh right. Uh, enter my number. One one six seven three nine. Thanks. One one six seven three nine. Thank you. The package is on its way. We hope you enjoy it. <laughs> mug with anybody else. Okay, Green, Edward. Oh, shit. Sarah? You okay? Shit. Shit! Oh, I'm reading up on Green. Holy fuck, you know who this guy is? Relax. You said yourself this was a routine job, right? Routine my ass. Green's the head of the Covenant. Not to mention he used to be the goddamn Secretary of Health. Fucking hell, James! Why isn't this going through official channels? It's a favor for the Chief. What the fuck does Chief Steiner have to do with somebody like Edward Green? Green's been shaking down the city for 200 years. He's not gonna want the wrong people handling his acreite. That's where we slide in. 
play this right, we'll come off like heroes. Well, heroes to the right people, anyway. Look, there's always an upside to shit like this. You get Green's gratitude? I bet you'll have to ask Chico to speed up that dream promotion. Where's his body? Fifth Avenue, top floor. Looks like it's Green's own apartment. You'll get a chance to see the wannabe Olympus with your own eyes. Wanna tag along? Uh, no. I'm not authorized for field work. I at the moment. So, what's the harm? No, I, um, I couldn't. That would be unprofessional. Especially on a case this important. Unprofessional, right. All right, I'm all up to speed. Then let's get on with it. Attention, documentation will be automatically destroyed. James, I, um, I know you're not reinstated yet, but have you recovered from the accident? Like, mentally, I mean? Thanks for the concern. I'll ping you when I get there. Car out. James, camera. This was supposed to be an accident. Fuckers hanging from the last cherry tree. What do you mean the last? Like, last last? Mm-hmm. Let's pull the echo right and get out of here. There was a pool of lesser than gel underneath the floor, feeding that big tree. Whole thing went up like a stick of dynamite. Damn. He really got cooked, didn't he? Well, I'm still gonna need a photo for identification. I mean, it could be him. Could doesn't cut it. We have to be sure. Mm. This is guesswork, James. I won't identify him. Not officially. I have an idea. I mean, you won't like it. This is a federal case, James. And we're supposed to pull Green's Icker right, not someone's. Moving on to reconstruction. seen this. What? Some kind of anomaly. Who cares? It's green. Pull it right and let's go.
The Icarite's melted. So? That's his insurer's problem. Come on, let's go. Sarah, he's dead. What? Like, you mean final death? Dead? Well, just... I, I... Sarah, listen. I've seen this before. Up close. Take a few deep breaths. Then we'll start looking for who did it. We have to report this. We have to. Anything beyond that? I, it's... I'm... I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Sarah, relax. You're not doing anything. Got it? You're not even here. <laughs> if only it were that simple. Omega Code 112358. Suspected murder. Isn't just a fire. Find the cause and we're out here. Never existed, whereas horses are extinct, like dinosaurs. Uh, of course. Thanks for the lecture, Professor. Hey, you asked for it. James, end of topic. Let's move on.
hundred percent sure. I don't want to hear another word out of your mouth. You're going to drop whatever shit you picked up, and you're going to write a clean report about a tragic accident. Got me? Uh, you pronounced murder wrong. I'm not asking. Tell him. End of story. Uh, can I can I get it on the record that I strongly advised against this course of action? I should have known better. I should have known you couldn't handle it. It's just an incorrect pull, I thought. Surely Kara can't buck up something that simple. I'm trying to tell you there's no incorrect to pull. Green's got oxidized. It's a homicide. And it's staring us in the face, like it or not. I can look into this and it's not our case. Write it up as a suicide. Oh, it's a suicide now. I thought it was an accident. You can call it a motherfucking ascension for all I care. Just get it off our books. The longer I sit here, the more it all stinks. It's not just Green's rotting corpse. <laughs>